Hey everyone, my name is Will and just wanted to say hello to most of all of you again and uh, take another second to bring up another um, issue that we could probably help fix. So uh, one of the bigger things that I've, I've seen again recently um, is a lot of people are putting people back into categories again um, as far as you know race and ethnicity but to be honest with you in my opinion it's more just culture that divides everybody not so much the skin color or race um, it's kind of hard to think that everyone who's a certain color would have the exact same idea it kind of takes away any real knowledge or logic um, so you know I was hearing the other day that well most uh, I won't say but you know most race of this kind uh, have a specific opinion on languages and what languages bother them and um, I thought it was kind of funny when the friend of mine was talking to me telling or well somewhat of a friend you know uh, but uh, talking to me telling me their idea of why they think most um, people in a specific race are bothered by another person's language um, they were basically telling me that it's because it's unfamiliar to them and it makes them feel uncomfortable like, well, you're speaking for a lot of people. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't it make just a little bit more sense if maybe that was just that person's personal problem? <laughs> maybe they're not connected to everyone else entirely in that sense. And maybe it's just something that they're lacking in their own character and it shouldn't really project based on their skin color or uh, wherever you think they're from but uh, he didn't seem to think so and um, seemed pretty set on that idea. And it just kind of worried me and it made me think and um, I'm just letting you know that uh, from, my, from my point of view, that's not usually the best way to keep a mindset because um, it made me notice a few things about the person um, and it kind of, it was kind of odd that when I say that it didn't seem like a personal problem, it didn't seem to phase him at all or he didn't seem to think about it. So it could just be that he was in a certain mindset, didn't want to listen to me or anybody else that, for that matter right at that time. So it's, I'm not blaming him whatsoever for having his own ideas. I think that's great. And you should always be able to challenge someone on, on their views on things. Um, that's kind of what helps you grow. That helps you understand what it is that uh, you know, you know, when you're defending something, you really find out whether or not you actually believe in what you're saying. Because you'll notice while you're having to defend what you're talking about, you'll see what things you have and what things you don't have. But I just thought that was kind of important that uh, this can go along with a bunch of other scenarios, but I just thought the language itself and how he felt an entire group of people were just based off of the one experience he had. Um, so I just thought that was really weird. Um, not weird. It, it, was, it was somewhat expected, I guess. But when you uh, when you see some people, but I, I I tend to really try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt because uh, I do believe everyone's incredibly intelligent. And uh, one thing that I always like to tell people is don't ever assume that someone doesn't know something just because you didn't hear from that person's mouth. It's a lot of things a lot of people don't share with other people, and. I mean, we have our all we all have our own reasons, but it's probably not best to think that they don't know something just because you didn't hear it from them. But again, um, this isn't a long one. I just wanted to say hey and make sure, hope everyone's being safe and and uh, that you know continue being you and hopefully you found some new hobbies being indoors and like I said, get, get, give yourself an opportunity to be challenged on some of your views and and uh, have fun with it. I mean, really try your best not to get offended. I know it's easy to when someone is disagreeing with you, but it's definitely worth it.